Another special session is coming to Tallahassee this week to address the rising cost of homeowners insurance. And with yet another insurer now leaving the state, the crisis is only growing. Eight on your side's Trevor Sahaki live in the newsroom with some of the data tonight, Trevor. Jack Allison, the numbers say it all. State insurance regulators say Florida has 9% of all homeowners insurance claims across the country, but accounts for nearly 80% of the nation's homeowners insurance lawsuits. And that's what this special session hopes to drastically reduce. The insurance crisis in this state is is bankrupting us and um, you know I think it's got to be the the number one issue in Tallahassee. When the state legislature convenes for their special session tomorrow all eyes will be on Florida's property insurance market. Everybody's paying these inc incredible rates uh, for their insurance uh, and this is now I think this is the third special session we've done on insurance in the last two years. Andrew Learned is a Democrat and former state representative for Brandon. The main issue is what's called one-way attorney fees. 90% of the, the recouped money in an insurance claim is not going to the homeowner, but the lawyers on either side of the issue behind the scenes. That's why so many insurers are going broke and leaving the state. Most recently, United Property and Casualty. It just further reinforces uh, up till I believe four years ago, United Property and Casualty was the fifth largest uh, in, uh, property carrier in the state. Insurance broker Ron Assisi says he's seen both the state house and Senate proposed bills for this special session. He says they're nearly identical, which makes him optimistic. And there are other carriers that are teetering on the brink because uh, no one has a real legitimate chance of, of even coming close to making a profit with the current Lit, uh, lit, litigious environment that we're in. ACC says the proposed bills do away with one-way attorney fees, put stricter deadlines on homeowners and insurers, and try to relieve the stress on citizens' property insurance. If most of these things get done, this will be the most significant legislative session in over a decade. And these next few days will tell us just how big of an if that is. Right now, Citizens Property Insurance, the insurer of last resort, is growing by nearly 10,000 policies a week, and that number keeps going up. Live in the newsroom, Trevor Sahaki, 8 on your side.